Uh, greetings, math fans. All right, so we're going to do a little bit more factoring here. Okay, and I have actually two types of factoring that we're going to cover. So um, one is actually really, really easy. Okay, so the, actually they're both pretty easy. But here's the first one. So let me just give you an example. So if I gave you guys x squared um, plus 6x plus 9, and I asked you guys to factor that. All right, so, you know, we've done this already. You draw a factor box. And you got x squared, and you have a 9, and a 6x, and then, of course, this is x and x. What multiplies you give you 9, 3, and 3. And that's positive, so it's good. We're good, all right? So you got 3x here, 3x. It checks. Adding down is 6x, so my answer to this problem is x plus 3 times x plus 3. Okay, that's cool. So the only thing that I'm going to ask you guys to do now is when this is the same, notice this is the exact same thing. It's x plus 3 and x plus 3. You need to write this as x plus 3 quantity squared. Just like if I said, hey, what's x times x? Would you say that's x squared? Don't tell me it's 2x, right? It's x times x is x squared. So if I said x plus 3 times x plus 3, isn't it x plus 3 squared? Okay, so that is the only thing that you need to know for this lesson for this part of the lesson is that is your final answer is that x plus 3 quantity squared if you have the same terms. Okay, x plus 3 and x plus 3. And you kind of, you're able to actually to kind of recognize this because this is a perfect square. So if you think about it, and again, you don't necessarily have to know that, but if I take the square root of 9, I get 3 and I multiply it by 2, which gives me. 6. Okay? So that's kind of how it's going to work here. But let's let's actually do just do another problem here and uh, show you what we're going to do, right? So if I get, again, I did uh, um, x squared plus 10x plus 25. Okay? So you're going to factor that. You get x squared. You get a 25. 10x here. So this is x and x. And this is 5 and 5, which works out, it's 5x, and 5x is 10x, so x plus 5, x plus 5, so it's going to be x plus 5 quantity squared, and that's it, that's your answer. What? That's it? Yeah, it's really, really super easy. Okay, let's do a negative 1. Okay, so if I said um, x squared uh, minus 14x plus 49. Okay, again, you're doing the same thing here, but I want you guys to kind of recognize here, what's square root of 49? Hmm, square root of 49 is 7. And notice this is a negative 14. So I'm just going to make a guess, and it's going to be x minus 7 times x minus 7. Okay. So let's figure it out anyway. Let's do it. We got x squared. We got 49 and negative 14x. So this is going to be x and x. Uh, 49 is 7 and 7, but it's got to be negative. So these are both negative, right? Two negatives. So you get negative 7x and negative 7x. That gives us negative 14x. And so we're good to go. So it's x minus 7 times x minus 7 which I have right here, and of course I write this as x minus 7 quantity squared. Okay? Oh, that's pretty easy, right? Um, I don't know if I... The only... I'm just trying to think of the only one that's maybe a little more challenging, and I don't even know if I have anything too much more challenging than that, but... Uh, the only thing is, like, even on your worksheet that you're going to have for homework, sometimes you have it in another order. So let's say if I give it to you like this, um, y squared um, plus uh, 81 plus 18 y. I mean, make sure you put it in standard form first, right? So you're going to move things around. You're going to get y squared plus 18 y plus 81. Okay, and then again, you can recognize, gee, that's a perfect square. So s squared of 81 is 9. If I multiply that by 2, I get 18. So I know it's going to be y plus 9, y plus 9, or 
y plus 9 quantity squared. And, you know, let's just do a factor box quickly here just to show you. It's y squared, 81, 18y. So you get y and y, and 81 is 9 and 9, and they're both positive. So you get 9y and 9y, which definitely gives you, adding it together, 18y. So 9 plus, or y plus 9, y plus 9, which is right here, and then your final answer is right there. Okay? That's not bad. All right. So that's the first part of the lesson. It's really pretty easy. Okay, the next part is called difference of two squares. By the way, that I, I never really titled that. We actually call the, the what I just did, um, these are perfect square, I guess it would have been nice to title it right at the beginning, perfect square trinomials. Okay, and not that it's a big deal, but they're perfect squares because it came out to be x plus 5 times x plus 5, which is a perfect square because it's the same number squared, right? x plus 5. So that's why I say it's perfect square. It's a perfect square, and it's a trinomial. Okay, because the problem started out, this problem would have started out as x squared plus 10x plus 25, and that's perfect square trinomial, right? Three terms. Okay? All right, cool. So our next kind of problem is going to be um, something called difference of two squares. Okay, so I'm going to title this one, so at least you have it right here. Difference of two squares. So first of all, um, you got two parts to this. First part is the word difference. And what is difference in math? A minus sign. And two, well, that means just two terms, right? Just two terms. So... Two terms are going to be, here's one term and here's the other term. And squares means perfect square. That means perfect square. So like, like, a, like a 16, an x squared is a perfect square, a 25, a 4, an 81. Those are all perfect squares because square root of 16 is 4, square root of 25 is 5, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 81 is 9, right? Okay, so basically, let me write this out here, x squared minus 25 is a difference of two squares. Okay, so that's just to recognize a difference of two squares. If there's a plus sign here, if this if this was a plus sign, you couldn't do it. Okay, it has to be a minus sign. Super, super, super important. It's got to be a minus sign. All right. So let's actually do some problems here now. If it's the problem look like x squared minus 25, let's just do that one because that's what we start out with. It's a difference of two squares. So this is how you factor it. Every time it's going to be this way. And what I'd like you guys to do is on top of that x squared, what is this? Basically, you're taking the square root of it. So if I take the square root of that and the square root of that, um, square root of x squared is just x. And what's the square root of 25 is 5. Okay, if you can do that, if you can take the square root of each one of those, the rest of it's actually easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two sets of parentheses here. Okay, and I'm going to put a plus here and I'm going to put a minus. Okay, that's all you do. If, if you can remember this for difference of two squares to factor, um, let me get rid of these square root things here. Okay, if you can remember that x squared minus 25 means you put, uh, again, you know it's a perfect square because it's x squared is, a square root of x squared is x and the square root of 25 is 5. Okay, so now we're going to do is, ready? See that x and that 5? I'm going to put the x here and the 5 here. I'm going to put the x here and the 5 here. And we're done with the problem. What? You're done with the problem already, Mr. Curvis? Yeah, I'm done with the problem. So that's what a difference of two squares is. So watch. Watch what happens when I foil this back. Okay? You don't have to, but this, I just want to show you. If I foil this back, I'm going to get um, x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. 5 times x is plus 5x, and 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. So notice negative 5x plus 5x, right, this cancels. They cancel out. Okay, what do you have left over? x squared minus 25. Just to show you that that's really what happens after you foil it all out. Okay? 
So let me, let's me let just do another problem. Again, they're really pretty easy problems to do here, guys. But you got to recognize the difference of two squares. We actually abbreviate that as dots. Difference of two squares. Dots. D O. I write that out. T W O. Two squares. Dots. Okay. All right. So if I give you, um, well, let's get rid of the parentheses. I don't need the parentheses. Uh, X squared uh, minus eighty-one. Okay. Are they are they perfect squares? Yep. That's a perfect square, and that's a perfect square. Uh, is there a subtraction sign between them? Yep, there it is. So what's the square root of x squared? Mm, x. What's the square root of 81? 9. Okay. Let's put our parentheses here. Plus, minus. Always plus, minus. Always, 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 always. Plus, minus. Okay. Um, now let's put the x and the 9 here. And the x and the 9 here. And we're done with the problem. What? That's it. Okay. Try another one. These aren't bad. Okay, what about uh, 9x squared minus uh, 64? Okay, so again, I'm looking at the terms. Is that a perfect square? Sure is. The 9 is a perfect square and the x squared is a perfect square. What's the square root of that? 3x is 64 a perfect square? It sure is. What's the square root of 64? 8. Okay, draw your parentheses. Plus and minus 3x plus 8. 3x minus 8. And we're done with the problem. Okay? Not bad at all. Mm, let's see. We'll do a few, just a couple more here. And then we'll be done. Um, how about uh, 81y squared plus... Uh, one. Oh yeah. Okay. There's two things. Two things with this. First of all, this is not a difference of two squares. And you might say, well, Mr. Kerfus, isn't 81 y squared a perfect square? And isn't one a perfect square? I would say it sure is. But remember, difference of two squares, not difference. That's plus. You can't factor this one. This one is actually prime. If there's a plus sign, it's prime. Let me redo this problem, though. 81y squared minus 1. Ah, much better. Let's put some parentheses here because the square root of 81y squared is 9y. The square root of 1 is 1. Okay, plus minus. So 9y plus 1 and 9y minus 1. And we're done with the problem. Okay. So that is a difference of two squares um, and perfect square trinomials. That's how you do that. But again, guys, please remember, it's got to be a, it can't be a plus. If it's a plus, then you can't do it. Okay? It's got to be a minus sign, and then you are good to go. And two perfect squares on either, one on, you know, on either side of that minus sign. And that factors to, uh, to our difference of two squares. Okay? So that's it, my fans. That's the... Uh, the two types of problems, and uh, hopefully you guys are good to go. We got a lot of different types of factoring left to go, but we're uh, we're kind of working our way through these. Okay, that's it, my fans. Have an outstanding day. Adios. Goodbye.